everybody, this is Puma Press reporting to you live inside of the new building. Today we are interviewing Mr. Cotate, who is in charge of the construction. So, how would you say the construction is going? It's actually going very well. Uh, we're currently on time and on schedule. Um, and um, the building is coming along. As you can see behind us is the main foyer of the building. Um, so things are looking good to get the building ready for your uh, next uh, school year. In your opinion, is the, is the construction going faster, slower, right on time with the original plan? Um, it's currently going by the original plan, so we're right on schedule. Uh, we're getting ready with the, you saw when you came in, the finished paint is going in, we're putting the finishes in, so it's going right on time to move you guys in as soon as school is out. That's good. Yeah. So would you say there, there were or are any problems during the construction of the building? No, no major problems um, uh, other than uh, little changes here and there that are you know, uh, necessary for, for the school, for, the, for the, the education process. So nothing, nothing that's out of the ordinary. And how much of the building is not finished yet? Uh, right now we're at about, um, I would say, two-thirds of the building is, is completed. So we still have uh, the last third uh, to finish before we uh, can start moving uh, furniture in. So have you just completed the front or are you doing the back right now? Um, we're actually working from what used to be the seventh grade wing. Uh, we're working from there and moving towards the first floor and then going up to the second floor. So we're m mostly done in the old section of the building. When do you estimate that the building will be completely finished? Uh, it's going to be completely finished uh, towards the end of July. And what will happen to the other buildings when the new building is completely finished? Well, we're saving the old gym that's going to remain and we're going to renovate it and turn it into a, a brand new gym. Uh, as well as the locker rooms around it and uh, some of the, the custodial areas there that we're going to save. But the 8th grade wing is going to be demolished. Uh, the the two-story building, which I think is the 5th and 6th grade wing, those are going to be the 6th uh, grade wing, 6th and 7th maybe. Those are going to go away. And the cafeteria building is going to be demolished as well. Uh, and then, and well, you're going to end up with uh, an, a brand new soccer field. Uh, awesome. where those are. So you're going to have two, two soccer fields in here and uh, around the school. Why does the back of the building have different bricks than the front of the building? <laughs> it's just architectural features. It makes the building look prettier from the outside. Yes, it does. How much larger are the rooms in the new building compared to the building that we are currently in right now? How much what? How How much larger. larger. Uh, I would say they're probably twice as big. Yeah. And now, to conclude this interview, what would you say has been the favorite part of the project? Uh, my favorite part of the project is to see it all come together um, and ready for, for, you, for you guys to, to learn and get educated here. Uh, that's my favorite part, and especially when we have all the technology on the walls um, and I see you guys walking into this building um, and excited about it. So you guys feel better being here all day long with brand new air conditioning, um, a lot of colors around you, all the latest technology to help you. Uh, learn and get these A's and A pluses and <laughs> so that's my favorite part. And thank you for taking the time to answer our questions. This building seems to be coming along so nicely and thanks to the help of you and the construction workers. This, this was Puma, Puma Press with, with the, the latest, latest construction of the William J. Johnson, Johnson new building. building. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.